going guys my name is jake welcome back to dude ranch diy today we are in the wood yard and it is spring and it is a beautiful day and we need to do a little bit of spring cleanup here in the wood yard and by spring cleanup i mean this pile needs to go but before we can start splitting up that firewood that's right there behind me i'm going to show you something else that we got to do real quick so yesterday on my way home from work, I got a call from a local place that I stopped back at in February. Um, and it's actually like just five minutes away from the house. And I noticed that they make mulch and they sell quite a bit of mulch. It's actually a Christmas tree farm, but they do landscaping supplies and all different stuff like that. And I noticed back in February that they got a tractor trailer flatbed load of IBC totes. So Later on that day, once they were open, because I go to work super early, I stopped in there and I said, what do you guys do with all these IBC totes? And they said, we don't really do anything with them. There's one guy that comes in every now and then and picks up a couple to use around his house and stuff. But other than that, nothing. And I said, well, I'll take as many as you got. Um, so they put my name on a list and they took down my number and the nice young lady at the front desk gave me a call yesterday afternoon, perfect timing. So I got home quick, hooked up the dump trailer to the truck and went over and picked up six uh, fresh new 330 gallon IBC totes. So um, really awesome that it's so local. I don't have to trek it all the way up to my buddy Chris's place where he makes mulch. He's actually got like 16, I think for me, just sitting there waiting. Um, but we got these six right here. So we're gonna unload these from the, the, the trailer quick and then we're gonna get on to splitting and cleaning up in the wood yard. Okay guys, totes have been taken out of the trailer and stacked up over there. So let me explain to you what I'm thinking now. Initially, I was going to have Chris here and you know we we're gonna do our normal routine of stacking the wood directly off the splitter into the empty totes. But since he's not here, I'm thinking I'm gonna move the splitter kind of catty corner right here. Since I have the empty trailer already hooked up right here, I'm going to split right off the splitter directly into that and save the stacking into the totes for another day um, because that just takes too much time for me by myself to both load the wood onto the splitter, split it, and then stack it. Um, so I'll have it all in the dump trailer. Then I will back the dump trailer up over there to the right of the totes and dump it on that nice clear area over there. And I will stack it into those fresh totes once I process them and they'll all be kind of in that area and out of the way. If I were to just split as is right now, all the firewood would be coming out this way and it would kind of be in the way of my road and everything and kind of block access. So it'd be eliminating one pile and creating another pile that more in the way. I need to be able to access that log pile to add more logs to it as I do tree work because that's the money maker. So uh, that's the plan. Let's get to it. Yep, 
I'd say that's about perfect. Looking pretty good. I might just uh, kind of center the splitter a little bit to make it a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, that looks good. All right, we got the splitter all set up, butted up to the trailer here. I am gonna do something that I never do. I don't even know if I've ever done this with this setup, the auto cycle and stuff I mean. I'm going to stand on the log lift side of the splitter because that's where the pile is. And a lot of this stuff is pretty good size. I mean, there are some bigger pieces, but it's pretty small stuff that I can just push through like once or twice. So I think if I stand here, I can kind of catch it and uh, should be good to go. So let's do this.
guys, so I've been splitting for about a half an hour now. I started with 21.1 hours on the meter at 21.6. Um, good little bit of wood here. It's probably a bit more than a third of a cord. We've definitely put a dent in this pile, cruising right along. This system's working pretty well. The only down side is it's not pushing this wood up the incline of the trailer as I had hoped. So I, th and it's kind of, pieces are kind of getting jammed up up against here. It just pushed the splitter back like this much. And sometimes like corners of pieces are actually diving down in between the bars here and getting stuck. So I don't want to break anything further on the splitter. As you know, if you've been following along on the channel, just did uh, some fixes on it welding wise. So I think I'm going to drop the trailer down and then I'm just gonna prop up the front of it on some of these four by fours that I have laying over here to give it a little bit of a height advantage over the uh, trailer. And then, you know, maybe with the trailer being down flat and being a little bit higher, it'll kind of push the wood in. So we're gonna try that out. Guys, quick update, got it up on these blocks. Now the catch tray is up a little bit off the trailer. So I'm hoping that as stuff pushes off, it'll just push this wood forward. I don't know, we'll see. That is gonna be a wrap for today. We put a huge dent in this pile here. As you can see, it is much smaller. You know, it was going out all the way to the splitter and over here and stuff. Um, got a lot of it done. Uh, some of these pieces, like especially these, are too long to even fit in the splitter with the uh, stroke restrictor bolts that I got through the I-beam there. Um, so I'm gonna have to cut these down a little bit. Um, most of them have been fitting. Um, even if I had to take off the four way wedge to gain like that extra inch or so, um, that it provides or that it takes up there. But, uh, we got a nice load of wood here in the dump trailer. And, uh, I don't know if you could tell here, but it is pretty heaped up almost even, or I'd say just about even to the, uh, to the sides of the trailer here, you know? Thumb flush, it's right there. Um, so from my experience in loading this trailer from the totes, one cord is just kind of heaped up in the middle and tapers off towards the back and significantly towards the front. Um, this, I would say, isn't quite two cords, but it's probably closer to two cords than it is to like one and a half. Um, so we, we'll see when we stack it. But um, for now, I'm going to... Uh, leave this in here and uh i might get a little bit more splitting done tomorrow we'll see and finish this up if not i can always just dump it over in my spot over there but the uh, rugged made splitter doing a real good job it seems like the uh the fixes that i did to it um have been holding up no problem um the modifications i did to this uh pv manufacturing hook a rune uh we're working great this thing uh you know, I used it pretty much for every round that I threw up onto the log arm there. Um, worked really well now that I ground it down. Only thing that wasn't working well is that the splitter is spitting out hydraulic fluid. It's about 78 degrees and we split for about an hour and 45 minutes. Started out with 21.1 hours on the meter and now we're at 22.8. Um, so in that time, the fluid definitely heated up and expanded was spitting out there. So as you can see, I got a little sheen on the uh, asphalt millings here, but that's all right. I can always throw some more in. So um, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. So as always guys, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. I, uh, I really do. If you like the videos, which I hope you do, 
give them a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button down below. I'd appreciate it. Any questions, comments, or feedback on what I did here, I'd love to hear it down in the comments section. Um, also, don't forget, summertime, get yourself a Dude Ranch DIY t-shirt or tank top or whatever, uh, Tumblr. The uh, link to that is down in the description. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.